I'm praying with joy all the time. I remember you. How beautiful is to know that someone is praying for you with joy all the time that this person remembers you. I want to learn how to pray in this way. I don't want to pray for others with fear, doubts, anguish, or concern. I want to pray with joy, and also I want to add love and humility. Paul says in Philippians chapter 1, verse 6, My joy in prayers is the conviction to know that God will fulfill all His amazing plan in your life, and He will continue working in you and through you until the day of Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 1, verse 9 to 11, the Passion Translation says, I continue to pray for, you, for your love to grow and increase beyond measure, bringing you into the rich revelation of a spiritual insight in all things. This will enable you to choose the most excellent way of all, becoming pure and without offense until the unveiling of Christ and you will be filled completely with the fruits of righteousness that are found in Jesus, the Anointing One, bringing great praise and glory to God. I really like Paul's attitude. Even while he was a prisoner for being Jesus' disciple, he can process and analyze that every single circumstance in his life. He says, this circumstance that I'm facing will serve to advance the gospel. Through this circumstance, Christ is preached. And because of this, I rejoice. When I pray for you, and when I am seeing that Christ is preached, I will continue to rejoice, because the answer of my prayer is coming. It will be fulfilled. I will continue serving God in His kingdom. The joy of the Lord in our lives always, when we pray for others, the joy of the Lord always to the proclamation of the gospel and the joy of the Lord always when we know that we are God's servants. The results of the joy in our lives will be living ourselves worthy of the gospel and a stable and courageous life. God bless you.